Aloha bombshells and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing my 2014 favourites. I realise I'm probably one of the last, if not the last, to upload this. It's going to be my hair and beauty favourites and there is quite a few so it could be fairly lengthy. The first ones we have, if you are one of the few that have been watching me right from right back from the beginning of last year then thank you for sticking with me but also you would have seen these featured in my videos a lot they are by l'oreal the fibrology thickening shampoo my that's a mouthful and yes they actually do work they work brilliantly i did do a, a review up on my blog last year so i will leave that link in the description box below as well um, they do a fabulous job i haven't used them um, a lot more recently because I think I used them so much that my hair got to the thickness that it couldn't get any thicker which I'm really pleased about because it it looks so much fuller and healthier and the end results nowadays are just fabulous I mean that was a these are an absolute brilliant brilliant buy and I will be going back to them I think I'm again very very soon VO5 a company which I love for hair products and and this I absolutely love I used to, before I had my hair chopped or um, washing my hair was a chore that I absolutely hated I couldn't stand washing my hair because um, it took so long there was so much of it but after the lovely Paula gave it a new lease of life and cut it shorter um, it has been so much nicer and I've been so happy to wash my hair uh, but these two products I've really been loving and they do make all the difference. This is the VO5 Plump It Up Amplifying Glow Dry Lotion for volume and thickness with natural bounce. It contains heat defense which is fabulous, fabulous for me because I'm always doing something with my hair or curling it or whatever. I really do a lot of stuff with my hair and it probably doesn't do it any good. But this is a godsend. It gives it so much more body and I don't have a particular way of drying my hair I mean I don't sit there and section it off with a hair dryer and so I just whack a bit of this in flip my hair upside down and it comes out beautiful uh, the next one is the VO5 smoothly does it heat protects serum blah 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 this I use a heck of a lot I mean I really really do use it a lot and we'll need to get a new one soon it does a fabulous job my hair when it was longer was a nightmare at, cur um, at keeping curls in, I mean absolute nightmare and ever since I've had the chop I've been curling it a lot lot more and I used to put this in before I curled it but I watched a Anna Ciccone video, Anna Ciccone Jolie video even, uh, I can't remember how long ago it was but she put this in after she curled it and it makes all the difference it really does i mean my hair once i've curled it as long as it's not too cold or not too hot and the curls just drop out within about an hour of their life which really does drive me insane but this makes this them last sometimes i can get three days wear out sometimes i can get four days wear out of my curls now which is super super good i was still on the hair Thing. Another thing that I've recent, it's sort of like a recent late 2014 discovery, but it is the Glorious Dry Shampoo. I used to use this when I was at school, but I hadn't used it for years, and I think I got it in a lucky, in a lucky, lucky bag, in a goodie bag when I went to a meet up at some point, um, and I had it for ages. And then one day I just decided to use it, and I've never looked back. This has been a godsend, it really has. I used to wash my hair sometimes have to wash it two times a week but now I can get away with once a week unless I have like an important function or do what I'm going to whack a bit of this in my roots because always up at my roots is the worst place it gets affected the rest of it can look great for another day or two at least but the roots is always where I get it worst um, and then I can never stand it so I always make sure I carry one around with me I've got a big one that I keep at home and then I've got this one along with a couple of others um, that I always keep up, make sure I've got one in my handbag so that I can just give it a little bit of vitality in life if it has to. So the last one on my 
hair favourites. It isn't actually a um, hair product as such, it is a hair tool. And these are the hair, um, just ordinary hair curlers from George and Asda. They were £8. Absolute fabulous, fabulous bargain buy. I mean, my hair looks incredible. I mean, I don't, I'll see if I can, if I can go through and find it, but I, I used, um, the first time I used them, once I finished curling my hair, I thought, hey up, it's Shirley Temple. I would, if I can find that photo, I will put it in somewhere in this video now. Um, if not, I did post it on Instagram and Facebook, so you can go back and have a look. But it does do a really, really good job. My hair stays in for ages, and it curls so much quicker as well. My old curling irons, I'd, I'd had for donkey's years, and they were just, they still do, they still work, but they never used to stay as long. But that, the new ones, I just completely love, and they give an overall fabulous result. And it lasts for ages, absolute ages. I, I'm so pleased I've bought my those last beauty year. favourites of 2014, and one that has been an absolute um, brilliant buy. I mean, if I had to go back and buy one product that I just know I would love and use, and it works, it would be Nivea Daily Essentials Rich Moisturising Day Cream. Every time, I used to suffer with dry skin badly, I mean really badly, I used to get it up around my eyebrows and get it quite badly on my face. Within a week of using this, it was gone. I, it's been an absolute godsend, I've recommended it to um, other members in my family that suffer with because it just cleared it up so well and I just can't praise the product enough. While we're on Nivea, this one is the Daily Essentials Double Effect Eye Makeup, Room, eye makeup Remover. I just love the colours in this bottle, it just looks fabulous, um, but it actually does do a brilliant job, I mean, I go out sometimes and I've got masses of eyeliner and mascara and golden eye, glittery eyeshadow, which is the worst to get off, seriously, this is genius, one swipe of this with a cotton bud and bam, gone, I love it, completely love it, right, so we're now on to the makeup um, of the beauty side to my makeup collection the thing I have most of is lip products and mascaras and I have four mascaras that I loved last year now this one I absolutely rave about this is the Miss Manga Mega Volume Mascara and I love this one I have never been one to wear false eyelashes I don't know why I just can't quite click into it so if I can get a mascara that gives the effect of false eyelashes, that's even better. And this one does, it does a fabulous job. And it just looks great, it doesn't get clumpy, it lasts for ages. And goes the same with the Clinique one as well. I love that, it gives a false eyelash effect, Hollywood effect is what I love. And it really does make all the difference. I only really use this one on special occasions though. Uh, Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara waterproof absolute bonus um, I use the lower lash more than the upper lash one I don't like the up don't like it for the upper lashes that much um, lower lash is brilliant because I can get to it with the little wand and it just magnifies and makes it look great so when I'm ever doing a big bold eye and I want to go all out then this is the one I use for a bottom mascara um, Avon Aero Volume Mascara again just is a, a great one for everyday use really when you don't want to have anything that looks too full on or like you've got false eyelashes or anything like that this is just a great one for that eyeshadows and a new company well not a new company but a company that has definitely taken the blogging world by storm and that is makeup revolution i used to use um makeup academy a lot when they because they were the cheap brand i used to have several palettes of what i still have but to be honest since buying these three, I have not even looked for the or reached for the MUA ones. These are everything. These are of course the Iconics, which are the dupes for Urban Decay's Naked 1, 2 and 3. And these are all I reach to. Sometimes I want to do a colourful eye. I've got a colourful palette, but I hardly ever use it. Um, these were 
absolute bargain and at four pounds a time i think it is i really do recommend it they're so pigmented and they're just they're just fabulous I'll probably use the iconic one and two mostly lately i've been reaching for the three because i love the rose gold color in there but really it's the one and two that i reach for and they're the only palettes that I use anymore. On to the last bits now. As I said, I'm a big um, lip product lover. That's, in fact, that's probably the thing I own most of in my collection, that and mascaras. I have some lip products here for you. Now, I am a big um, fan of the red lips. Obviously, being a big fan of 1940s and 50s, I wear a red lip a lot. And red, well, red lips really are my statement lip. I'm always wearing a red lip. Um, apart from lately, when I do go into more of the berries, especially at winter time. But come roll out the summer, that red lip is going to be back on. And this one is an absolute godsend for that. It's the Rimmel Provocalypse. I've done a review on this as well on my blog, and I will leave a link to that. It stays all day. I mean, you can eat, drink, and be merry and it is there the next day i mean i try i can't even take it off with a makeup wipe like not that i do put one over my but if it does catch it it doesn't even come off it stays forever which is great i would definitely be invested in more colors of this for my another one i love which is a little slightly different color and um, this is from rimmel it is the moisture renew lipstick in 510 made fair red lady and it's that that one down that color i absolutely love this color it's a little bit darker than the other clip, but it's still great it's a very great color and one you should definitely go to uh, the last three that i have are of the berry family and yes they may look very similar but i became a big fan of the berries last from makeup revolution put those two down and I love the shade of that. It's called Rebel with Cause, and I do. Um, great shade, great price as well, and great pigmentation for only a quid. I think it used to have Makeup Revolution written on the side of it, but that has rubbed off. These two are quite dark. If you're not a really dark, dark person, um, then these probably aren't great for you. Uh, this one is Vixen. I love this. I had when I first put this on. I thought I can't wear that colour. It's far too dark for me. But actually, it's really good. It lasts a long time. Um, not as long as the Provocalypse, but you can eat and drink with it and it doesn't come off easily. Really moisturising and creamy, goes on really well. The only thing I find with a bold lip is there's not much room for error. This one is, a, is another colour that I absolutely love. A little bit more similar to the Makeup Revolution. In fact, they are quite the same. Although this one's more of a blue undertone. I love Rimmel um, brand. Rimmel is just a brand that I love um, all over. But this is a matte lipstick. I've never worn matte lipstick really before. So this was the first one for me. And I love this one. It's in Fur City. And it's like a great wine colour. I think I got the... This went on my wish list when I watched uh, an Amelia Leanna. It's one of Amelia's videos um, last year and I fell in love with the colour. It's fabulous. Absolute fabulous colour. And that is the end of my 2014 favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. If there was something you saw in this video that you loved last year then please do let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video then give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of me then click the subscribe button as well. I know it's a little bit later than everyone else is but you know better late than never i always say and i should see you all in my next video bye